All right, guys, welcome back to another video on how to use Google Classroom. And now I'm going to use Google Classroom with Google Drawing. And the purpose of this is to utilize worksheets or um, PDF files so that kids can practice at home and use them and uh, using tools to give answers on the worksheet. Here's my Google Classroom. And if you are looking for Google Drawing, it's a part of Google Docs. However, if you go to your search bar and type in Google Drawing, and just click on the link. So I've already uploaded a fractions worksheet. Thank you to Super Teacher Worksheets. And uh, now I'm going to go to my Google Classroom and I'm going to an assignment. And I'm going to give it zero points. And I'm going to type this in fractions paper just for my references. And then here I can give them instructions. Uh, I can say, use the text tool to fill in the answers. And then give your document a a title all right so now all right so now I gave a little bit of an instruction I'm going to add all right now I just added the fractions paper into the assignment and right over here is really important. It says students can view file. I want my students to do more than view. I want them to uh, participate and, and draw on it. And um, to do that, you gotta click on that drop down menu and go all the way here to make a copy for each student. And then I'm going to go to the topic and create a topic. And because I know I wanna have more of these type of assignments, a paper form, I can do paper assignments paper assignments and I don't need a rubric for this one right now uh, because I can just grade it once I see it and then I'm going to assign it and now you can see paper assignments fraction paper now let me show you what that looks like we'll go ahead and go in there All right, so this is what your student will see. So you're going to instruct your students to go to the text box, click on it, and then all they have to do is click and drag a nice big square and then put down what the answer will be. So this would be four. Then you can see that there's a four there. Grab the text box. Same thing with this one. Just drag a box here and then type in three. Maybe you want to be able to decipher the, the kids' work from the actual worksheet. Well, a great way to do that is just change the color. Oh, that's horrible. Change the color of the text. That's a little bit better. This is bothering me so much. I'm going to move this around just a little bit. Sorry. Maybe make it bold. There you go. So if that's what works for you, make sure you put those in your directions uh, so that kids understand and make a movie of this. So if you haven't seen that, I'll provide a link to my video on how to screencast your instruction um, and make a video of what you expect them to do when you assign these things. So uh, I hope this video helped and stay tuned for some more videos. See you next time.